Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to hit with Coach Goo, and he said he got a surprise for me today. I do got a surprise for you. He says you hit always on your back foot every freaking time we play. What are you talking something. about? What are you talking about? I got something about? for you. Stay tuned. All right, so Coach Goose says he has a surprise for me. Here you go, bud. Expand the kinetic band. You right. ready for it? So what, talk to me. Talk what to you? Doing? I mean, this is going to be, a, it's a little harness. It's a harness? It's a harness, but it's not what your traditional harnesses are. Coach Goo, I don't play that, though. Hey, man, you will after this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here, let me, I'll, I'll hold the pouch for you. Then. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. So as you can tell, it's. I'll take this. Thank you. It's super long, what as you can heck? tell. It's but like a leash. For you, man. It's, it's your favorite leash right here. Ooh, so I didn't know you did that stuff. All right, calm down now. <laughs> all right, the biggest thing is you see there's a clip at the end. This is to clip the fence. And okay. this is actually where we're going to harness ourselves. Right? It has a big loop here, actually, and we'll actually teach you how to set it up. So you, you guys. You time me to the fence? For you, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So, guys. To make this easier, we're going to clip this on the bottom of the fence, not on the top, because if you go onto the top, you're actually going to, you're actually going to mess it up a little bit. So you can start on the bottom or so go a little middle, higher or like kind of waist is. height. But since but, there's windscreens here, yeah, there's windscreens here. It's a little unfortunate. We'll start hooking it on the bottom. Afterwards, here, hold your racket. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you. So if I was working on four hands, I'm going to actually slide my dominant hand, which is my right hand, through the loophole. I will actually start building tension. So I can start in. If I want to move forward, I build more tension. If I want to move back, I build less tension. This is where the fun part begins. Can I have my racket, please? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it, Eric. So the biggest thing now is we do a little spin, 360 spin, and now... It should be wrapped around my waist and should this part of the near the end of the kind of band should be kind of near my hip. So now if I want to build resistance, I can go forward to build resistance. But like for me, I'm, I'm pretty fine here. This is nothing too much. I don't know about Harry. He might struggle here. But what this product does really well is one, it actually enhances your forehand technique. So instead of you know, putting your hands back, it actually promotes your hips and your lower body slash core to move. So your legs are moving and your hips are moving and the core is moving. So you're actually getting more balance. That's where your lower layer coiling effect begins, right? Afterwards, your technique, you just can hit a regular forehand. The biggest thing is what I realized that helps me is usually with the traditional harness, I would actually hit the band probably back here, somewhere around here. But now with this thing, I can actually swing freely without any worries with this band. Harry, you want to give it a shot? Let's see a couple of forehands from you first. Sure. Please. Okay. So biggest thing is you'll see it. I'm turning and I can whip it around. So if I was moving, I could actually move with the band and still set up like a traditional forehand and swing all the way through. I can still move around and still hit an inside out forehand. Coach Tu, how much tension is on that band right now? Quite a bit, actually. Can you, you fall tell. over forward? Will it let you? Yeah, okay. I can. Okay. I can still do it. Okay. I don't know about you, man. <laughs> how, I'm, so, I'm doing so great. So there's a good amount of tension. There's, there's a good, a amount, good of tension, amount of tension, of course. So it's making you lean forward. or Lean right? forward in a more athletic position now, right? I can't stand back like this. If I stand back, lean back, I might actually fall backwards. If I actually have to be in a, a pretty wide athletic stance, so therefore... I can stay balanced and actually hit my ball. Got it. Okay. Let me, me give it a shot. Let me give it a shot. Yep. All right. All right. Thank we're, you. We're, we're working on forehands. Yeah, we're working on forehands. All right. No Cause, worries. Cause you ready? Always, you're always complaining about my forehand. I know. Okay. I know. So all like the time. this. Keep going. You can adjust <laughs> the trenches all you want. Then you rotate. All right. Now, you, now hold on. Let me get your racket. Now, if you want to. Go forward now. You can go forward. Come on now. Don't there. be shy. Tension's right here. No, no. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, bud. So look, it's it's literally like a leash. It's like every step I take, it's pulling me back. Like I'm 
like it's, I don't know how much pounds, this is just about 50 pounds of weight pulling me back there is what I'm feeling. And about here is where I'm about comfortable. Um, let's see if I can get to the baseline. Look, I, I can't get to this baseline. <laughs> I, I, like it's literally doing. Come on, man, you're fine. <laughs> okay, here, let me see if I can swing. Go for how it. How it feels. Whoa, whoa. So there's pulling every way. Yeah, every so it way. encourages you to use your <laughs> hips and your, and your core more. So you can swing freer. So you don't realize it's actually oh. not, you're not using your arms to swing now. You gotta use your lower body and it actually enhances those, those movements. So when I move sense. forward, it's pulling me. So I'm actually forcing my way forward. Correct. And when I'm turning, I'm actually f having to force my turn too. So you're using now parts of your body that you should be using as a tennis player, <laughs> not your arm. So you can tell how like oh, relaxed your arm is. Right. So see how like now you're focusing on using your legs to go forward towards your ball. Oh okay. yeah, wow. So what I, I'm getting actually almost a, like a lifting workout. Too it's almost like, this. yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like you go to a chiropractor and they adjust you. Mm -hmm. That's what it should feel like. Oh, interesting. Let me back my, my behind up. <laughs> and then you can rotate out. Okay. Want to try with some balls? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Coach Goo. Yes, bud. What did you think of the X-Band Kinetic Band? So it's a great product. Um, I think it's super useful. I mean, a lot of the juniors that I worked with and even when I was growing up as a junior playing this, we had something similar, but it was a harness with two bands. Oh, okay. So you think about an actual oh, harness, yes. right? And when you put it on, there's two bands that kind of go off the course. Like sometimes you can put it on like one side, like one on the left side, one on the right side, or you can have one that like kind of like this band where you had one and you put it right in the middle mm -hmm. and you were so limited to like your forehand. So like if people understand what the harness did back in the day, when you're moving around a lot, it actually rotates mm -hmm. in your hip. It doesn't like, it's a, it's kind of like a one for all kind of fit, right? So if you're big, you could get away with it, but if you're like kind of skinny and scrawny, I mean, that belt will move, that harness will move around a lot. So the tendency is like, you might actually hit the, 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 band, the itself. band itself, and yep. then you're like, oh crap. And then you wouldn't actually get a clean hit. So with this, it actually eliminates it. 
Um, let's say if you're specifically working on like a certain shot, especially a forehand, it does eliminate that issue like pretty much significantly. And it actually gives you the freedom to swing. The one thing I was really shocked about was how much tension it was holding, especially when you're trying to like coil. When the coiling effect on the forehand, usually with the harness, you don't feel it. You only just feel like kind of the pressure points of like pulling. But when you're rotating, it actually kind of full, like, it makes you realize, okay, instead of me swinging the forehand, I actually have to rotate, which you felt probably mm -hmm. too. Definitely. Because your I, forehand has never been that ripped that hard in your no, whole career probably. I, I don't usually turn as much. Oh, when I put this on, I felt like I had a leash on me. And when I walked up, like I probably said it 20 times. I was like, why is there so much tension? Why is there so much tension? Because I couldn't make it to the baseline. Like I could not stand on top of the baseline. I had to be about five, I don't even know, maybe I was 10 feet behind the baseline. It's what it felt like because I, every time I tried to get there, it's like, eek, you know. So, but it made me lean forward to be on my toes, you know, and then made me load to turn mm. and then gave me like, I don't want to say proper technique. Is that correct? Could it... I mean, yeah, it is. It is a standard of basic technique because like, you know, one plays flat footed, right? right? So yeah, it's a basic standard of technique. I don't think you ever used a harness in your life, probably. Never. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> this is not about the pool. Yeah. Um, no, but the reason why you do that is because now it encourages you to have a good athletic stance, right? Mm -hmm. If you just stand like this, you're going to get pulled back no matter what. Right. So it's the base of it. But when you start moving around and understanding the quality of how to hit a forehand, especially with this band, it does enhance that quite a bit. Because not only you're not like you have resistance by moving, you have resistance by actually rotating your core and your hips. That's the kind of the power source. Right. And then so. and then the the bigger thing is you said take it off. And then when I took it off, the muscle memory with it being on stuck to my body. And yeah. and I was like leaning in to the ball more, like throwing my core out, throwing the racket out more. I mean, I don't think I've ever hit your shot as hard as I've ever done today and caught up with those forehands that you nail at me as much as I've done today. Because usually I'm like, oh, shoot, it's coming. You know, you guys have seen that. You guys are like, why are you always on your back foot? That's what you guys are always saying. <laughs> well, I wasn't on my back foot as much today after using this. And I was like, when we took this mm -hmm. off and after we hit, I was like, thing works. The kinetic band works. So, yeah, so. I mean, I never seen him so excited in his whole <laughs> career actually hitting the ball. I don't know why, but um, but yeah, it, it definitely helps. Like muscle memory does help. That's why you hear coaches feeding millions and millions of balls is because it's muscle memory, right? So you have a tool that enhances that muscle. And especially when we try to teach that to younger kids, um, we tell them we can only tell them so much and then it's on their own interpretation but when you have a product like this that can actually enhance what we're saying it makes it a lot easier for the person that is using this to understand like okay i get what they mean by using their core using their hips right when they're hitting the ball so it's it's a great tool i believe hopefully they've have like this guy has been sending out this to academies around the world right now because it's actually a really good like invention actually um especially to replace the harness so like this is actually a very handy tool it looks compact too that's the biggest thing because most most harnesses you, you know they're, they're they're a lot to bring and this is like a very simple kind of design and the one thing i was worried about that actually solved itself when it was playing was the wrap around um but when you wrap it around it actually doesn't cause any discomfort or anything and actually i was actually swinging pretty comfortably yeah we both thought we were gonna clip the band behind us and we never did never did like that's why like, in the beginning i was kind of cautious but i afterwards i was just swinging freely right so that's that's the one thing I was a little worried about, but they 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 did a great job with that. Yeah, for you, I mean, you load very well. You load and then you come through very well. For me, I load and then I do this, right? So for this, it made me go forward, go forward, <laughs> or else I would get pulled back to the yeah. fence. So that actual muscle memory helped me a lot in just bringing everything forward 
into yeah. the ball. Yeah, and then for me, it, it's a great tool because, especially for us, it's a good indicator that, you know, it helps us rebalance ourselves. Sometimes we, as pros, like, or even coaches, like, we need to retune once in a while. So this is a great product for us to use, especially if we're, like, you know, trying to have another groove sesh with low conditioning in. I mean, this is a great tool. This is a great product that I would actually highly recommend to other people, especially yeah. coaches and former or even junior players as well. It'll get your kids excited too, because once they get harnessed and then unharnessed, they're gonna hit a much better shot. Like I was hitting unbelievable forehands. I'm sure your kids will too. Um, if we turn it over to the backhand side, I'm sure it'll be an incredible backhand too. Yeah. Because you're going forward, you're going at the ball for once or more consistently with the better weight transfer. Yes. All right. Coach Gu, thank you. Of thank course. you so much for being with me on this X-Man Kinetic Band test. I'm glad you did this. Thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. It's an awesome product, so super excited and thank you for letting me try it out. All right, Coach Good, where can I find you? You can find me at ag.tennis, I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, guys, get your Kinetic Band. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. X-Man.